tonight, the Walker County community came together for a vigil honoring Matthew Perigen, one of the latest victims of gun, gun violence. Good evening, I'm Megan Scarano. Corey Mahaffey and his 16 year old son are now charged in the shooting death of Perigen. The sheriff's office says it happened in January during a robbery. ABC 3340's Bobby Portavent was at the vigil and joins us now in the no newsroom. Bobby, how did they want Matthew to be remembered? Megan, I'll get to that in just a second, but I want to let you know there were around three dozen people tonight at Doria High School, and that's where Perigen actually graduated from. Now, there were no memories of celebration, but more somber memories created tonight. Matthew Perigen was a 32-year-old father, son, and brother, someone that the Dora community won't forget. Matthew had a big heart. He was one of the people that you could count on in a time of need. Like many people, Perigen had demons in his past. He was getting a second chance in life. He was employed in Birmingham working to try to rebuild himself. And I felt like he had turned the corner to try to overcome that, you know, try to rebuild his life because he had young children that he wanted to be a role model for and for them to look up to him as well. Perigen's father is not asking for prayers tonight, instead to hear his message. Just, just a heightened awareness that this can touch everybody. Drug addiction is a disease. Perigen's two children are keeping their dad close to their heart. They, they, they're struggling. Like, and I'm struggling and my wife is struggling and the whole family's struggling. So we've got to get them some assistance to some therapy to talk about it. Saturday's candlelight vigil and balloon release was more than just a time to remember Perigen. Community activist and family friend Harry Traveling Shoes Turner was there to raise awareness against violence. I say put down, you say guns, put down, guns. put down. Guns. So was Angela Harris. The search for her missing teenage daughter, Anaya Blanchard, captured the nation in 2019, only to lead to a grim find. I hate this happened for you, and for you, for you, for everybody. We shouldn't be here. Matthew should be here. Anaya should be here. Now, members from the group Mothers of Murdered Sons were also at tonight's vigil. Live in the newsroom, Bobby Portavent, ABC 3340 News.